Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township.
Good morning. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, or Divine Mercy Sunday. Our liturgy this morning will be offered for Florine Urim, Grace and Bill Gephardt, Paul and Virginia Kuhn, Carl Singer, Dorothy Jean Toth, Norma Peluso, the 67th wedding anniversary of Jim and Rose Gagliano, John and Veronica Lamb, and Arson Ross. I know that my Redeemer lives. What joy this blessed assurance gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. He lives, my everlasting head. He lives to bless me with his love. He lives to plead for me above. He lives, my hungry soul to feed. He lives to help in time of need. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge now our sins, mindful of God's divine mercy, and let us turn to him and ask his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you call us from darkness into the light. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you nourish us with your holy body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your triumph over the grave, you have opened for us the gates of paradise. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We pray. Let 
us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of the bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's needs. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their bread meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was thrust down, thrust down and falling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has been my savior. There are shouts of joy and salvation in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to inherit an inheritance that is imperishable, 
undefiled and unfailing, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be proved for, to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him. You rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are they who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered him and said, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, 
you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed and happy uh, second Sunday of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. Um, just want to say a word of thanks to Bernie Crespi for joining us today and just offering up that beautiful voice to help us continue to praise and glory in the resurrected Christ. I also encourage you immediately following Mass, so we'll just kind of go straight into a moment of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, uh, concluding with prayer of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. So I encourage you, if you'd like, to stick around after uh, the conclusion of today's Mass. It'll be live streamed directly after uh, today's liturgy. Today, of course, we hear the story of Doubting Thomas. It's a familiar story, and so there are a lot of ways that we kind of might expect to think about Thomas. That he doesn't believe uh, what his friends, the other apostles, say. He doesn't believe Jesus. But I kind of like to take it in maybe a different direction. Because P uh, Thomas says, unless I can see the nail marks, unless I can put my fingers in the nail marks, put my hand into the side of Christ, I won't believe that it is Christ. Now, you and I sometimes encounter Christians, we might even be sort of tempted in this direction ourselves, to believe in Christ without the cross. We want this kind of warm and fuzzy, comfortable Jesus that doesn't really demand anything of us. It's a comfortable and cozy Christianity that we've settled into, and we don't really want to think about suffering, death, and so we kind of take the cross, take Jesus off the cross, and cast it aside. We want Jesus, in other words, without the nail marks. Because it's a, it's a radical reality that if Jesus was nailed to the cross, if the Son of God could be crucified and killed, if we're his followers, then we have to expect a similar treatment by the world. If Jesus was of the world, they would have anointed him king. They would have kicked Caesar off the throne of the emperor and anointed him. But we know that Jesus Christ is not of the world. And while you and I swim in the waters of our culture and our world, we're not of it either. And so while sometimes it's, it's tempting, and we all do it from time to time, we run from the cross. But as a true Christian, if we really trust, if we really believe in Jesus Christ, he suffered first, so that means we might have to suffer a little bit too. Teresa of Avila said that now that Jesus has resurrected, now that he has ascended back into heaven, he has no hands or feet or voice in this world now but ours, but he also has no cross, except when he invites us to participate in the sufferings of life. Now that can be a hard fact. We don't want Jesus with the cross because it means that the cross will come to us too. But if we trust in the divine mercy that only Christ can offer us, then we can bear that cross with dignity and strength. And even if we fall under the weight of it, we know that Jesus is there, his shoulder under the cross, helping us to stand again. When we run from the cross, he's there, waiting to help us to bear with dignity what he bore so beautifully, the wood of the cross. A number of years ago, I had a blessed opportunity to visit uh, Poland. World Youth Day was held there a number of years ago, and so I was able to visit a number of significant sites in and around Krakow. But before I went to Divine Mercy, the Divine Mercy Shrine, and saw the little chapel where St. Faustina, that apostle of Divine Mercy, is entombed, the pilgrimage that I was with visited Auschwitz, that infamous concentration camp. And so I don't need to paint a picture for you. I think just hearing the, the name of that place conjures in you not only images but also kind of a visceral reaction to such awful hatred. All the blackness of the human heart poured out across the acres of that land. And all the people 
all the men and women and boys and girls that died there. And even more than that, that suffered there and eventually left there. But the wounds, the scars of that place have remained with them through their earthly lives. I remember when I was going on that pilgrimage, a priest friend of mine who had been to Krakow and been to those places said, make sure that you visit Auschwitz first and then divine mercy because the heavy weight of just being in that place can in some ways be crushing. But then when you go, when you approach that grand uh, cathedral basilica of divine mercy, you can really see the grandeur, the lavishness of Jesus and his divine mercy. Something as awful as Auschwitz could only be conquered by something as beautiful as the mercy and the love of God. And so as you and I struggle with the crosses that we may, that we may have to bear, the suffering, and ultimately even the death, let that suffering remind us that in spite of it, God is loving. God is merciful. God has conquered death. And so whatever your sinfulness, God can cleanse it. Whatever your struggle, Jesus is there with us. And so as we turn to him, as we continue to glory in Easter joy, today is the eighth day of the octave, but Easter doesn't end now. It goes out through a season, but really it's a lifetime experience of trusting in God's mercy, of embracing the cross, and glorying with the risen Christ. Let us now stand and together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> Trusting in the divine mercy of God, we turn to him now with these prayers of petition. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, May the Holy Spirit continue to guide him as he shepherds his flock, the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God grant them the courage and wisdom in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and justice in the world, May Easter grace be with all nations and peoples in turning away from division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle each day to make ends meet, may God grant them a spirit of fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who are still awaiting to be reborn in the waters of baptism, or join us at the table of the Lord this Easter season. May, their, may, may they continue to draw ever closer to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially members of our families, friends, and benefactors, for all who will die this day, may they share with the saints the reward of eternal joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now conclude by praying our parish prayer. Lord Jesus, you told us where your treasure is, there your heart is also. The parish of Holy Spirit treasures our faith in you, our children, and every person gathers here. Help us to have the courage to sacrifice, to love, and to build in your name. Guide us by your spirit of wisdom, give success to the work of our hands, and keep us in your peace. Saints, martyrs, and Mary our mother, pray for us. Amen. There's a wideness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed. There is joy for all the members in the sorrows of the head. For the love is God is broader than the measures of the mind, and the heart of the is most wonderfully kind. If our love were but more faithful, we should rest upon God's word, and our lives would be thanksgiving for the goodness of the Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and all of the souls. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Philomena, Saint Gemma Gilgani, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And we pray our spiritual communion. Of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. The body of Christ. I love Amen. you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Worthy is Christ the Lamb who was slain, whose blood set us free to be people of God. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Power, riches, wisdom, and strength, and honor and blessing and glory are his. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you now and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thankfully, the Lord is merciful. Hmm. Is my name crooked? Okay. 
far less embarrassing if this weren't being filmed. Okay, there we go. I invite all of our viewers to partake of a few moments of silence, and then we'll pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet together, maybe about 20 minutes or so.
Dear friends, I invite you now to join me in praying the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. As we do this, we just invite the Lord, um, if you can imagine uh, in your mind that picture of the Lord and his divine mercy, those two rays that come forth from him, the blue one representing the rebirth that we've received in baptism, and the red, uh, the blood of Christ in the Eucharist. We ask the Lord to pour forth both of these cleansing uh, streams upon us today to offer us that gift of his divine mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. I believe in God, the Father of the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, those of the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today, as we continue to contemplate the divine mercy of Jesus Christ, and as we have adored him in this blessed sacrament, we ask him to send forth his mercy and his blessing upon us. And now I'll offer a Eucharistic benediction, a blessing for you and for your families, that that divine mercy can penetrate our hearts and minds this day, that we could be merciful to others and receive and accept the mercy of God for us.